Skin scare. New research shows a dramatic rise in skin cancer among younger women. We'll tell you who's at risk and why. Thanks. Well, from heat to sun and an important GMA medical alert, a new report out this week reveals a dramatic increase in the number of skin cancer cases in younger women, melanoma. While the number of men diagnosed with melanoma has decreased, the number of women diagnosed has jumped 50% since 1980. And dermatologist Dr. Doris Day is joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a startling jump. Why do you think women, young women, such a big jump? Well, melanoma is the number one cancer killer of women 25 to 29 years old. And I think there's really two reasons for this. First, more women are going to tanning salons, mm -hmm. and a million people go every day, and this is mostly teenagers and young women. And the second, which is the good side, is that more women are coming in, and that's because of organizations like the Skin Cancer Foundation. For the, screening. For they're, screening. They're getting checked. That's right. And that's because we're getting the message out. So the Skin Cancer Foundation and the American Academy of Dermatology shows like this and the women's magazines right. are getting these women in, but not more men. More yeah. men are not coming in. You said another interesting thing, sunscreen. Women are putting it on and then they go in the sun and they think they're invincible. Right. Actually, that's a very big problem. Women are putting sunscreen on first thing in the morning, then they go out all day. So they're not using enough sunscreen and they're not reapplying it often enough. So they're really not protected, but they have that false sense of security. Yeah. Okay, can we be real just for a second here? Because I'm going to the beach next week and I think a lot of women, pale women like me, you go to the beach, you don't want to come home completely pale, but you don't want to get skin cancer. Is there a safe way to be in the sun at all? There is. There's two ways. Now, one thing I would do is if you're going away, take some sunless tanner with you. There's ones that give you a gradual tan and some of them have sunscreen on in the morning. So you can get one with sunscreen. It'll give you that nice color as you're outside and as you reapply it, you'll get more color. But even if you did everything we tell you, if you use sunscreen, reapply it often enough, stay in the shade in the middle of the day, wear a hat, you're still going to get some color. So there's no way to avoid getting somewhat of a tan when you're out and that's okay. The problem is people want more and more and more and they're never satisfied with the color Don't they have. It. Don't yeah. push it. Don't push it and I know you always say watch yourself, right. watch for marks. We're running out of time but get screened, go that's see right. your dermatologist. And if you see anything new, show your doctor. Exactly. When found early, 95 a great greater percentage of cure rate. So get it early. Cure and rate. it's on the outside. You can find it. Okay, Dr. Doris Day, thank thanks so much. Dan. Kate, thank you. Now to the often controversial first